Film 48 also brings improvements to Wayland's color management protocol support, enhanced HDR dynamic range support, and a new well-being feature. This well-being tool tracks your screen time and sends you friendly reminders to take a break, stretch, or go outside and touch some grass. <laughs> but there's more. Gnome now features on-screen desktop notifications for when you connect headphones. It has a new display control system that lets you view and modify active monitor configuration. And for that, for the monitor configurations, changes can be made through the command line arguments as well. So you don't have to use your, your GUI to uh, change your monitor configurations. And by default, new windows, you know, something that you don't have previously configured, will now open centered on your screen. Uh, the Nautilus file manager has also been upgraded. It now supports removing bookmarks directly from the path bar, and you can load a thumbnail and you can load thumbnail information separately from other file information. In addition, you'll see improvements in directory directory loading performance and grid selections. Now for Team Green, with NVIDIA GPU users, GNOME 48 offers better support when an NVIDIA card is your primary GPU. It does this by it improves DMA buffer support for headless sessions and optimizes frame rates for monitors connected to secondary GPUs in copy mode. In Wayland only setups, X Wayland is no longer required thanks to updates in the GNOME Display Manager. 